All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be making snowy mittens. So let's get going. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video, um, I found this uh, couple printouts of, um, or some pictures of some examples of how to do snowy mittens. So these are all really nice and great. Um, it could be done on white paper, by the way. So if you don't have color paper, that's okay. Um, however, I'm gonna try to upgrade this a tad bit and we'll see how we can go from there. So anyways, um, how I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna use two pieces of construction paper, um, a white piece of paper, uh, some scissors, a pencil, um, some crayons, and um, some glue. Um, so with that said, let's get going. So I'm gonna put this aside so you can see what I'm referencing here. Um, I think I'm gonna turn it this way. I know it's kinda sideways, but at least that way you guys can see how I'm gonna do this. So first step is I'm gonna kinda pick which color, uh, construction paper I want as the mitten. And I think the one I chose was this purple paper. And in order for it to fit properly, um, I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna put it on the palm, or I'm gonna set it down, I'm gonna trace it with my fingers closed, and I'm gonna try to pretend there's a mitten on top of my hand right here. So I'm gonna go from my wrist, go up, really nice and wide, I'm gonna go over, down, and then towards my thumb and around like that. So I actually have a mitten shape. If you want to kind of create a, a rectangle part, portion for the wrist, um, for the elastic, you can. There we go. And now all I gotta do is cut it out. So I'm gonna outline this in Sharpie because uh, I understand that it's hard to see on camera. So here is what I traced. So maybe it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. Um, I'm editing it a tad bit just so it looks a tad bit better. But it's still mitten. So there we go. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut this out and I'm gonna go from there. So I think my scissors are right here. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna cut this mitten out. Just like so. It doesn't have to be perfect unless you want to be perfect. No, um, no, uh, no complaints if you're sloppy at cutting. It's just a simple, fun art project. Art should be just fun. All right, so here we go. Here is my mitten. Of course, it's gonna fit on the other construction paper right there. I can um, set this aside. There we go. All right, so first step is if you have crayons, the best way to do the snow on the other um, construction paper is just to take that white crayon. And the first kind of snow I wanna do is just plain white dots of, of varying sizes. So maybe here and there. Uh, try to space them out a little bit just so it's not so close together. Um, I do have the mitten, on, oh, see, I broke the crayon already. Um, I, I do have the mitten on the paper already. Uh, that's just because I don't want to waste time adding dots I don't need because, again, um, your mitten will cover the majority of the page. So you don't want to waste time or energy by making dots you don't need. All right, with that said, those are all the snowflakes I'm going to add. Uh, but if you want to add some advanced snowflakes, some people have done stuff like this where you kind of make an X first. So here's an X. And then from that X, you just kind of make a line going directly down and then directly across. And there you go. So that's a simple snowflake you can do. A more advanced one is um, try to make a wide X. So maybe an X looks very nice and flat like that. Then add a line in between. And then from the tips of all those lines, just add tiny V's, just like so. All right, that's another way how to make snowflakes. Right, let me do one more on this end, just so it's not so blank on this end. I think I'm just gonna do another one of those X's right here, line in between, and I think I'll just leave it like that. All right, so I'm gonna put this crayon aside. Um, it's broken right now. I'm gonna need it later probably. And then next step is, I think it's now time to um, glue on the uh, mitten. But before you do that, let's decorate it. So uh, the best way to decorate this is just to turn your construction paper over from the other end. That way you can um, be as messy, messy as you want when doing uh, the patterning. So what I'm gonna do is maybe I'll, I'll do the wrist. So maybe some stripes here like that. Maybe I'll take this color right here, add some red. And it's giving off a nice um, different cool uh, invented color right here because it's on purple paper. Looks really cool. All right, next step, I'm gonna add some varying stripes with my black marker. 
could use some pencil too, doesn't matter. I'm just doing this so I have an easier way to show you guys what kind of patterns I'm doing. And it looks like I gave myself a lot of work, which is fine. Because now I have more ideas that I can do. So let's see what my first idea could be. Um, I think my first idea would be, um, here, let me just take that off. It's kind of bothering me. Um, it's going to be just a regular candy cane. So I'm just going to make it nice and big. Just like so. They're all going to be facing the same direction here. Pressing nice and hard with my right crayon. Just so it's, it's going on to the construction paper really nice and easy. All right, there's my last candy cane. And then I'm going to take uh, a red. Let's see if I can find it. So is the one that's the smallest one. So I use the red a lot. I'm just going to create the stripes here and there. There we are. Looking good. All right. All right, so those are my candy canes. All right, next one I think I should do are maybe some trees. They're pretty neat. I'll skip one. Um, or two. I'll put the trees right here. So I'm just add the tree trunks. Once I add the tree trunks, I shall add the trees. So when I create one that go like this, and then instead of making it really advanced, I'm just gonna make triangles to simplify the uh, design. There we go. Looking good. All right, let's um, spread out my designs by adding some simpler ones. Um, stuff like, um, hold on, before I do that, it's bothering me. I should probably add another tree trunk right here. There we go, before we move on. All right, ta -da. tree trunk added and the tree. All right, I forgot that's part of that one column. All right, let's do some random patterns here. All right, I think I'm gonna make this one just waves like so waves of blue looks pretty neat all right the only disappointing part about doing a mitten like this is that um, when you're doing the snowflake which we'll do in a little bit um, it's going to cover the majority of the designs on the middle so you don't want to focus your really advanced designs too close in that mid area it will be covered all right let's do some of this dark blue um, i'm not liking it so i'm just going to outline like this and then maybe i can add something in between different color probably but um, i do like this dark blue so i want to add it somehow still all right there we go hmm what color would go good with that i think i'm going to pick uh, this color this random color <laughs> let's see what happens oh that's pretty all right, it's really reacting pretty interestingly with the orange paper, or sorry, with the purple paper. So, um, I think this was a good choice. All right, there we go. Let's add some more stuff. I think for this bottom part, we can do, um, let's see, what else have people done? Oh, I like that better. Let's do triangles. Pretty neat. Neat and easy. All right, let's fill these in. And then let's do a different color for the opposite sides of those. Why don't we do um, green? There's not enough green on the underside of the mitten. There we go. That's looking really nice. All right. I haven't done stripes yet. I really want to do stripes. So here we go with some just plain stripes. Here we are, just plain stripes. And then let's emphasize those just plain stripes with some more color. Ooh, looks really nice. I'm glad I picked this magenta color. Looks really neat. All right, for the top of the mitten, um, I think I'm gonna keep it just as simple with maybe just wavy lines. 
Let's, let's try this color. Let's see what happens. Ooh, I'm not sure if I like that color too much. Let's try to bring in some yellow to balance it out. All right. I got an idea. Let's add some yellow, oh, some white to it. Just like so, and it should brighten up the sections of yellow a bit better. Let's try again. There we go. It brightened up the yellows a tad bit. Nice trick. All right, there we go. Let's add some. Let's see what colors haven't I really used. I don't think I've used this one a lot. No, I just did that. I'm sorry. Uh, orange, actually. All right. This orange should finish off what I want to do. And I want to leave the rest purple. All right, my mitten is done. I can flip this back over. I can take a glue stick and um, glue the reverse side of my mitten. And I could glue the perimeter, because uh, you don't need glue everywhere. Uh, close the cap nice and tight. Don't waste too much time. And you can start pressing your mitten on, just like so. And if you want to finish it just like this, that's great. You can just call it done. Uh, if you want to add a little more design, uh, you need a piece of white paper and we're going to turn it into a snowflake. First step to making a snowflake is you need a, a square piece of paper. So in order to make this piece of paper square, what you're going to do is take one corner or and then line up the top edge with the side edge. So in order to line that up, just take this corner and try to go down and make sure it's these edges are matching. So I'm going to make sure it's matching just like so. Like that. And then if you did it correctly, you should have a nice bar or rectangle on the very bottom. So I'm just going to trim that off. Just like so. Uh, put it with the recycling paper that we just cut out from earlier. All right, so now we have a square sheet of paper. Leave it folded like this. So next up is you're going to fold it again halfway. So take the triangle that opens this direction. Fold it in half like that. Once you fold it in half like that, fold it in half again. Just like so. And once you're done with that, fold it again just like that. All right, if you want to fold it one more time, you can, but it gets harder and harder to cut. Now, um, once you're done with this fold, um, I don't know if this is the correct way how to do it, so um, I'm just going to take a wild guess of how this works. Um, I'll do this in pencil, but I prefer to do it in Sharpie so you guys can see better, but um, actually, well, let me do it in Sharpie so I can, can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm just going to kind of mark where I want to cut. So I'm going to cut off this part right there, uh, basically the tip off, I'm going to cut off the tip. Uh, over here, I want to kind of create like a triangle. I want to cut that off. I want to cut off a piece of triangle on the other side. Um, I might as well cut a pattern that looks kind of like this. A rectangle on that side. Um, I want to cut off another triangle but a little bit larger this, side, this way. And then on top, I want to cut a pattern that looks kind of like that. Alright, so what I just did is I took this part and I kind of create directions for myself of how to cut. So let's start off with the tip. Cut that off. Done. Let's start with the top part. Cut this whole entire piece off. Uh, done. All right. Let's see if I what happens when I cut this part off right here. Okay. Needs a little bit more effort. There we go. And then go on the other side. Cut off this part of this triangle right here. There we go. While I'm on this side, I might as well go ahead and cut off this bigger triangle on this side right here. Alright, I'm not going to lie, I don't know if this is going to work. I haven't done snowflakes in quite a while. Alright, and finally let's cut off this rhombus uh, shape that I made on this end. Alright, and once you're done, you can put away your scraps or leave them where they are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this pattern and see if I did it correctly. I don't know if I did or not. Um, and it looks like it did. It's looking like a nice snowflake. The only problem is it's a lot bigger than I thought. But anyways, it looks really neat. So here's my snowflake. 
um, it's nice and pretty so I'm pretty safe to go ahead and dispose of my scraps so here I go all right so there is good things and bad things about this project um, that I just completed with you guys. All right, so the good things are is that they all look fantastic. So this looks great. The snowflakes look great. The problem is is that the snowflakes really really big, and I'm, some people wouldn't want it on the on the project. Some people do. So as you can see over here on these these examples, the snowflakes is way smaller and it fits more on the palm. So if you want to make the square smaller, uh, you can to make sure you do the cuts a little better or if you want if you want you can take this big snowflake you just made and just try to trim it as best as you can um so i i'm gonna regret cutting it but um i think i'm going to just so i can glue it on so uh bye bye nice big and pretty snowflake i'm gonna cut you and uh we'll see if we can um make you a tad bit smaller all right so here we go i'm folding it as best i can again um i don't have to go all the way i don't think so all I'm going to do is take a big portion of it and it's going to kind of make a zigzag just like so. <laughs> wow, that's a big chunk of this cut off. All right, let's open it again. I'm really scared to see what what I just did to ruin it or anything. All right, I didn't ruin it too bad. It looks pretty decent now. Good size. And again, you don't want to do it in Sharpie. I only did it in Sharpie just to show you guys what patterns I did, but there we go. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue it completely on. I'm just gonna glue maybe two sections right there, just like that, and then I'm just gonna kind of just press it on the middle of my um, mitten, just like that. And then I'm gonna make sure that the ends are a little bit more sticking up. All right, and uh, that's it. That project took longer than I thought, but it's looking great. And uh, that's it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.